What is happening gamers, it is The Honest Gamer here, and this time I am throwing you my opinion of the best games set to be released this April 2012. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So first up, ready to be released this April 6th, is Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii. Xenoblade, as it is known in Japan, is a role-playing game being published by Nintendo and developed by Monolith Soft. The story sees you playing as the young man Shulk, who wields the Xenoblade and takes place one year after the battle in Sword Valley. During the game, Shulk will be using his energy blade called Monado to attempt to save the world. So, the game has already been released around the world during 2010 and 2011, but North America is only just set to get its own release next month. The game boasts a fantastic open world environment being similar to that of many massively multiplayer online role playing games. The game also has a great combat system and awesome storyline. It's being reviewed to critical acclaim and for anyone who hasn't yet had the chance to pick it up and play it in the US, you will soon have your chance. Next up is Nexus, a remake of the 2005 version from Alien Trap. This new one will hit the shelves via Steam for Microsoft Windows and also for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 this coming April 17th. Currently being developed by Ilphonic and published by THQ, it is a first person shooter and uses CryEngine 3. Described as a fast paced arena first person shooter in a futuristic but Victorian style theme. The game looks to be awesome fun utilising smaller levels with fast returning health and quick kills. It has 9 maps with 9 different weapons to use and places 2 teams of 4 against one another. Overall the game is really one for fans of the old Unreal Tournament franchise. If you're looking for more then be sure to check out the demo that was released just last month. In at the number 3 position we have Disgaea 3 Absence of Detention for the PlayStation Vita and set for a release date of April 17th. The game is developed by Nippon Ichi and published by the same company in Japan and North America but by Square Enix in Europe. Disgaea 3 is a tactical role playing game and sees you playing in the netherworld school called the Evil Academy. You play as Mao, a son of the overlord who has not yet once attended a class which oddly makes him a good student and plays through his plans to attempt to overthrow his father claiming his title. You will find that this game has already been released onto the PlayStation 3 back in 2008 and 2009, but with new additions to the game, Disgaea 3 may well be worth a look into even if you weren't a huge fan of the previous titles in the series. Taking up the fourth position is The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. Finally ready for its release onto the Xbox 360 come this April 17th, the game originally released to critical acclaim on the PC and was a huge success. So a lot of fans without the use of a powerful PC can be set to explore the vast world on their Xbox. The game itself is a first person role playing game developed by CD Projekt Red and sees the player in the boots of Geralt of Rivia, one of the few remaining witches, as he attempts to clear his name after he is framed for a crime he didn't commit. The game was highly successful for the PC and one that I can definitely recommend to anyone who hasn't been able to experience it yet for themselves. Lastly at number 5 we have Prototype 2, ready for release April 24th and will blast its way onto the Xbox 360 and the PS3, with a later release date planned for the PC coming this July 2012. Currently under development by Radical Entertainment and being published by Activision, Prototype 2 is the sequel to the 2009 game Prototype. During the game you will be playing as the new hero James Heller as he quests to destroy the Blacklight virus. The game will feature an open world being played from a third person perspective. During this new title there will be newer abilities such as Heller being able to dodge attacks and use different weapons in the game. He will also be able to sneak behind enemies injecting them with the virus and creating a bomb, using the human to blow up his enemies. Finally he will also feature improved strength and movement as well as self healing and a sonar sense used to help the player find what he is looking for. Overall this April looks to be a slow month for new games, but be sure to subscribe and check out the top games of May 2012 for some awesome looking titles. And as always it is the Honest Gamer here with Quantic Media and happy gaming.